All right then, my friends. So functionality wise, this is pretty much complete because we can add pizzas and we can list those pizzas. We can see more details and delete pizzas as well. So that's all cool. But the OCD in me is a little bit irritated because this doesn't match up exactly to the designs I made for this template. So just for completion, I'm going to use this lesson to add a couple of images and tidy up the CSS just a little bit. Now, if you're not interested in that, feel free to skip this video. But for those of you who, like me, want this to be 100% complete, feel free to follow along. There will be no PHP, just a bit of CSS. All right then. So first of all, I want to add the pizzas to these things right here, little images. Now, that pizza is on my GitHub repo right here. You can get it from this branch, lesson 33, go into the image folder and then grab this SVG. Now I've already added that to my project folder. You can see an image folder right there and the pizza.svg. So I'm gonna output this on the index page for each one of these pizzas right here. So down here where we cycle through the pizzas and we have this div for each one of them. And we also have this card right here. This is roughly where I want to place that image. Now I'm gonna place it directly inside the card, right? So let's do an image tag first of all. The source is gonna be inside the image folder forward slash pizza.svg. And I'm gonna give that a class as well because we'll need to do a bit of CSS wizardry on this to make it look a bit better. And that is gonna be called pizza. So save that and view it in a browser. And this is gonna look a bit stupid at the minute, but we're gonna tidy this up now. In the header, so inside the templates, we're gonna add a little style for the pizza. So let's make a pizza class. And then inside we'll say width is gonna be 100 pixels. And then the margin is gonna be 40 pixels at the top, auto left and right, and then minus 30 pixels at the bottom. That just brings the content underneath it up a little bit to close the gap. And then we're gonna, oops, display this as block. We're going to give this a position of relative just so we can nudge it up a bit and that is going to be by minus 30 pixels so it's going to go minus 30 pixels up that's why we're doing this to compensate for that okay all right then so that's about it i'm just going to save that and refresh over here and that is looking pretty good now every time we add a new pizza so if i do mario at the net ninja.co.uk and then mario supreme and it's cheese, tomato, and mushrooms, submit. And now we can see for each individual pizza, we get that little icon, which is nice. Okay, one more thing. I just wanna change the text color of this. I don't really like black all the time. I think it's too harsh. So I'm gonna to go to the details page and down here in the template, I'm gonna give all of this gray hyphen text. Save that and preview once more, and that looks a little better. Maybe it's too light, who cares? So my friends, that is pretty much it. So now that is the project completed. There are still some things I wanna talk about in PHP, so I am gonna do about another nine or 10 lessons, so don't feel like this is the end of it. But in the next video, we're gonna go away from this project, and I'm gonna talk about something called ternary operators.